Hi everyone, welcome to Chal Chitra. Hi everyone, welcome to Kitabi Cabins. And uh, it just feels like a long time has passed by since we last streamed. And um, wow, it's just I am sorry for the delay. It's just I was trying to um, manage a couple of things, and I really did not plan it well. So I'm just taking a minute to, um, I don't know, uh, relax myself and then take this further. And it's just, um, <laughs> so every time I start a stream where I do a blunder, like today, welcome to Shal Chitra Talks, I just, um, I panic for the next 10, 15 minutes. Am I on mute? Can nobody hear me? Can you guys hear me? Please, ek bar chat me confirm kar do. And if anybody is watching us from uh, WhatsApp book club, guys, can you also post it in the group? Um, and do like the stream because the more you like the stream, the more it gets recommended to people. And then more people join us. And we desperately need followers. I mean, we're not desperate, but uh, we do need people to subscribe us because we're still a growing community. And I just blabber on. But yeah, I'm audible. That's, that's really nice. Somebody called Jerry is in the comments. Hi, Jerry. How are you? We're reading a book this month, which is by Jerry Pinto. And for a second, my heart skipped a beat because I was like, hey, what if this is Jerry Pinto? But anyways. Give me one second. Because something just fell and okay, yeah, it was the other phone that I was like, I'm all over the place right now. So please. Um, Excuse my, um, excuse the rush. But yes, today I have a lot of books to talk about. We're going to talk about, of course, M and the Big Home, which is the book of the month. And I have a couple more books because I've been reading a lot. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for confirming in the groups. Also, oh, Anjesh is from Nepal. Hi, Anjesh. How are you? Thanks, Sanj. Uh, hi, thanks, Metra, for confirming. And everyone else who confirmed. Uh, yes, Jerry, thank you for confirming as well. But this is nice. I just, for some reason, I feel like I've been streaming after months and years, but I just checked. I think I streamed a couple of weeks ago. I mean, whatever. But yes, um, so there are quite a few books that I want to talk about. Shresh is also, <laughs> so Shresh is my best friend from school and he comes for every stream, which is great. I have been cooking for everyone who doesn't know. I just started cooking and I've been exploring a lot of uh things that north indians usually eat in their lunch like mutter mushroom was something i tried very recently it was great and i mean i i liked it but anyways uh, which brings me to one of the questions that i had for everyone who watches regular content on kitabi cabins i've been because i really like cooking and i i and, and i just i just have been enjoying cooking so much so um that it has become a, a pocket of stillness for me. And I was thinking if I should film something while cooking and I just wanted to know if you guys would be up for it. And if you are, well, that's wonderful because then we'll have a vlog that we can put forward on Kitabi Cabins. But um, that's one of the things. Please let me know in the comments if you want more of it. And uh, okay, uh, Saika Sushi has just finished first chapter of M and the Big Who. Wonderful. So... Uh, how many of you are actually reading M, 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 M and the Big Who? So I know um, I haven't, I am at fault here because I haven't been holding people accountable for reading a book a month. Uh, and I would still hope that you would pick up a book a month. But I've realized apparently because I don't push people anymore on Instagram stories and Insta live streams because we don't do any live streams anymore. Uh, but I don't really push people in WhatsApp groups and everywhere else. So not a lot of people eventually pick up M and the Big Home. I mean, they have just bought his copy of M and the Big Home like the day before yesterday. And for everyone who wants to know, um, everyone who's interested in purchasing a copy, if you want to read the ebook and if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get the book for, I think, free of cost. Uh, the link will be in the description box if you want to purchase it. And it's absolutely free of cost. So please go ahead and read it. And I think it's one of the finest books I've ever read um, on depression, especially uh, considering it's coming out in India, out of India. 
and uh, of course it was translated from bombay to bombay so what's wrong with i'm sorry from marathi to english so there might be a few um so if you read it in Mara- marathi there will be a few things that will be missing and you would want more of it but having said that it's 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 a wonderful book nonetheless and i would recommend it to anyone and everyone because it's just not about mental health it's also about what people go through uh when people around them suffer from mental health what is it like to be in a family where people struggle with mental health what becomes of the children the husband the mother the parents uh the kids every one what becomes of the friendships and i think it's a wonderful book and if you haven't picked it up yet uh do pick it up yeah it's it's free of cost like for god's sake anyways i'll just hit okokraj oh, is here yes cooking so i'm not doing a cooking stream of course <laughs> but um chef van thanks there you have it and i've also been reading a lot of cookbooks so if you want any cookbook recommendations i mean i have been reading more of theoretical parts because <clears throat> i'd like to know of all the spices before i start using them because i really mess up the uh, ratio of the spices that should go out but anyways moving on um there was a comment that i wanted to address yes aman said yes cook shak shuka so we posted very interestingly we posted a reel on instagram where where we and i were talking about shak shuka in one of our vm squared streams and um there i had said it's an israeli dish and everyone corrected me on instagram in the comments a lot of people not a lot but like quite a few of them com- corrected me and uh, i had i mean, i just felt it right that i should apologize but it's an arabic dish apparently but just fyi anyway uh, so yeah nobody is actually replying about m and the big home is anyone even reading m and the big home what am i cooking today <laughs> cooking hopes of people reading and in the big home not very clever but um so i have a couple of books that i wanted to discuss with you guys today and i think it's after a long time that i'm streaming alone so i'm particularly excited um kuntal is reading kuntal i hope it's the correct pronunciation is reading last palace by mitav ghosh which is nice has anyone um picked up any salman rushdi recently because whatever happened was very unfortunate and i hope um as a society we can collectively get past that but just was curious if anyone is reading salman rushdi reading good days by benjamin i think it's benjamin but is it good what is it about asna currently on the 10th chapter aman is reading him in the big home everyone is reading him in the big home please give a thumbs up if you can and also please recommend it to people as to why they should read it and are you guys even enjoying him in the big home um reading book of simple hey hosefa press wala i hope that's the correct pronunciation uh book of simple living that's that's wonderful confessions who you know what i have this book overall but i've never <laughs> picked it up like it's right uh, somewhere i can't see because i'm not wearing my specs but um going to find my specs and i'll just i just uh, kind of ruined the arrangement of lights that i had because i'm so clumsy oh it's there it's right there confessions somewhere and i i don't know why i haven't picked it up like i got this in a sale and has the most beautiful blue cover and i got this a couple of years ago and i've never picked it up should is it worth reading aviral shakshika sounds like a good <laughs> yes hi tint in the reporter how are you reading i'm in the big home sincerely yes snehal uh archit is reading deep work and sandeep sandeep is also here hi sandeep how are you got my copy of m and the big home would get it there as an on the current book okay geeta press and the making of hindu in there nice wow that that sounds very interesting mohit is reading murder on the orient express which is wonderful it's benyan okay uh, what is it about kuddal is it like the good days 
uh, reading okay well oh, i've heard a lot about this book yash uh, tindin is reading 1984 has 1984 and he hasn't read it i think you said the same thing in the last stream also tindin you have it but you haven't read it uh read rush these men night show read rush these men okay got it anyone who's reading books on existentialism don quixote wow Oh, we are doing some really serious reading, right? It's so nice to know. Completed tongue in cheek. Can someone what tongue in cheek about? Oh, is it flickering a lot? Is my video flickering a lot, guys? Because I don't see it in my camera or my video, so I'm not sure what's happening. If it's if it's uh, is there a lag? You can also let me know because I just checked in and I think there is a lag. but please let me know in the comments and i'll correct it um it's about a malayali who tra- asna okay it's about a malayali who travels abroad for work but it ends up being worse <laughs> nice hi yash is also here i'm so okay people are reading three body problem i mean hi how are you kafka on the shore you know what a lot of people have been reading kafka on the shore um i don't know why i've been coming across so many people who've been reading kafka on the shore and most of them have had the same problems that i had and it's kind of nice to know that i'm not the only one but there are also a few people who've been enjoying kafka on the shore and they're just okay with everything that's unanswered that's not answered in the english translation at least i think which is nice but great somebody is reading the book thief wow you know what uh, and I, i was talking to somebody about book thief today anyways um i think i'll move on because i really want to talk about um m and the big home so um for those of you who are new we pick up a book every month and we read it together we try to and in the last week of uh, the month like sometime during the last week we discuss it and if you guys have read the book and if you'd like to participate in the discussion do write to me on vani@chalchitratalks.com i know we still use the chalchitra talks id which is great which is okay <laughs> because it's the parent channel but coming to m and the big home so i heard a lot about it because everyone would recommend it again and again on the channel and it was kind of interesting the cover and everything it's just i never had i never came around to picking it up and ever since i've picked it up i've been kicking myself for not doing this sooner it is one of the finest it is at least in the recent times one of the finest books that i've read on mental health and there are it's not even mental health it's just um it's just the simple things that we face every day in our family and life how we sit with people who tell us stories about their families just like sitting with a parent who's telling you stories about how they started working how they met your other parent and um their aspirations and hopes and there was this particular chapter uh which i there was this particular maybe i'm just a little away from the camera but there was this particular line which i really really liked and a few days ago i was doing this instagram q and a and if anybody answered the question i know i haven't um, answered all the q and a's because i'm very lazy but um there was this um q and a and somebody asked my most recent favorite quote and um i wanted to share this one and i did of course which i can't find now but anyways um going to find it because i know it's somewhere here anyways i think i've moved past it but um it had something to do with how um nobody took her seriously and that's so every time so the mother is suffering from some mental health issues and every time she tells a story the world does not take her seriously and how for the sake of his mother i found it in my 
notion. But I tried to believe M in everything she said. He calls his mother M, the author. He says, it was my act of faith because I could see how the outside world immediately discounted whatever she said. And um, it kind of made me um, feel really nice because I think we do that for so many people who are very close to us. Um, everyone just denies them what they wish for. And then we go out of our way to just make them feel comfortable and make them feel whole and add a certain uh, level of warmth, a certain warmth to our relationship because we know this is the only refuge that they have. And this one line where he says, um, because the world did not take her seriously, um, I wanted to do this for her and so on and so forth. And this is something that has really stayed with me and I love the book. And there are certain things that, um, so I think the son is narrating the story and he tells us bits about how his mother was and how she is now. And um, it's really nice to just witness a struggle of somebody um, through somebody else's perspective. We usually read books where the narrator is suffering from certain mental health issues. They are in immediate contact of the other person, but usually or they are in the immediate contact of the other person, but they are not very certain as to what is happening. But here we have somebody who's suffering from mental health and she is explaining her life to this person who's our narrator. And you also get to see her struggles and their struggles collectively as a family because of the mental health issues of the mother. And that is something so unique and such a new perspective and it's also beautifully written and beautifully addressed that I would recommend it for everyone if you suffer from mental health. That's the thing about books that deal with emotions, right? You have a certain sense of responsibility to address them, right? Because certain times we have this urge to use them as a point of study. And I think Jerry Pinto's book, I Am in the Big Home, does that so brilliantly. And... Um, I've just read a comment, you have to read A Little Life. Hi, Arunika. I, I've been wanting to read A Little Life, but I think I'm just not emotionally prepared for it. I'm not emotionally prepared to break down and cry for months. Um, I've read it's something that um, we want, I, I thought we'll pick it up. We'd pick it up for a book a month, A Little Life. And we did put it in um, the polls. But and people voted for it, but then we realized there are certain disclaimers that need to be added, and um, that's why we haven't picked it. It's a brilliant book, I've heard, it's an amazing book, but I don't think I have the courage to pick it up. And a lot of people I know would not want to pick it up. But if you've read the book, that's wonderful. I'm just not sure if I want to break down that part right now, uh, because of a book. But the black dot on my face is, um what do I say? It's shadow. And I'm an idiot for not knowing how to deal with it. But it's okay. We've got... It just made me... I When I started the stream, I was all over the place. And, um, and I was just trying... Because my phone wasn't working. So, but then, yeah. Sunday, but then... <laughs> democracy was... But, you know, to be fair, we, we haven't had polls, but... Uh, do you, how many of you guys want to bring back polls? Because when we bring back polls, sometimes like the book that's chosen is not as good as the book that was coming second. Like I really, like I'm happy with Evelyn Hugo and everything that we had, but I just feel like there are a couple of choices which um, are irresponsible. <laughs> and I would just, I would just want to, for us to pick up a better book. And I'm also thinking like in one of the a book a months, let's just go all out and pick up whatever we want to. So it'll be interesting to know what everyone picked up. Um, going through historical nonfiction is quite hard for anyone. It is. It is roasting judicious broadcast. That's, that's a lovely name. What do you post on your channel usually? Uh, anyways. Oh, uh, somebody said any funny and lighthearted books in ABM? So, quite interestingly, I think it was Dinesh who posted uh, in our WhatsApp book club. By the way, if you want to be a member of the WhatsApp book club that we have for Chalchitra Talks, 
uh you can become a member you can become a gladiator or a godfather if any of the mods are watching please post a link in the comments and um, you can join the group uh, you can become a member and join the book club if you want to anyways dinesh uh, our dear friend dinesh who is a member of the book club uh, posted um, i think he did it on story graph he posted a graph of the moods that we've had in uh, chal chitra talks and uh, in a book a month until now and i posted it in my story also and it was so interesting to see that we do funny books the least I, my pitch just went high anyway we um do the funny books the least but we do a lot of we read a lot of books that are reflective in nature and also informative and emotional and it was just <laughs> it was just so heartwarming to see because i was like hey and then i looked at the bar funny is like the least um i mean the books that we picked up funny was the least funny as an emotion was the least that we experienced while reading them i mean that is what story graph classifies those books as so i realized we should pick up more funny books yes we do, we should also do more of um, i mean a couple of books yes but yeah we can have a poll yes i've been thinking about it kushal i i have been but then i sometimes feel we'll have to start doing the polls much early on and that's that's mostly it then kind of dictatorship is nice somewhere like in certain areas right hi old trunk how are you i'm i'm great um yes now and there are certain um this certain amount of money you have to pay for becoming a so we've so um you can become a chalchitra member and there are three different tiers that we have for the members one is good fellas then we have gladiators and then we have godfathers you can see my hand over here godfathers good fellas gladiators no godfathers gladiators good fellas so good fellas pay the least amount of money they get access to they get badges on youtube and everything gladiators get a few more memberships they get uh, access to uh, one group out of the seven whatsapp groups that we have um, science book music movies tv shows podcasts and uh, music yeah sports and then and so on right they can pick one group of their choice and join it and they also get to be a part of the zoom discussions that we have almost every sunday and then there is another tier which is the godfather tier and uh, this is like we literally treat them like godfathers we have seven to eight different whatsapp groups and they get to be a part of all the groups whatever groups they want to be a part of and we also do town hall sessions with them once a month beva when i sit down and have proper conversations with them and they are also like they get certain amount of different perks they have they also get to know about behind the scenes what's happening and uh, what's coming up on the channel before anybody is so like we really believe and we really want to take care of them and there's a certain amount of fees that you have to pay monthly or you can also subscribe to it annually by going on chalchitra.com and uh, yeah we will be good to go funny and dark with this thank you prajesh um thanks what about horror moving on <laughs> um can we do a science non fiction next maybe see so, you know what if i'm being honest um what are the genres that you'd like to experience see i've already <laughs> to, to be honest we've like what four months left uh, is this august yes it's august right september october november december we have four months left i've already decided the books for the next um, not the next but like i know what are the next three books going to be at least i i know at least what are the next two books going to be so we can do um a poll for the for the other two which stands true until i find something that i want to pick up um and one of the book that i've been really dying one of the book let me tell you is going to be about emotional intelligence uh, because i was reading this book and i thought it's one of the best books that i've ever read and i think everyone should read it and uh, being the class teacher i really think all the students should pick it up so i want to make it a part of the syllabus but if you have other recommendations please let me know you can write to me on vani@chalchitra.talks.com and um, that's um that's it and i'll consider picking it up 
with the help of all the book club members that we have. Um, now that Kitabi Cabins has been uh, created, will, will the kind of episodes that appear be different than those on the main channel? Hi, Joel. I hope that's the correct pronunciation. Now, um, that's, that's a great question, actually. Kitabi Cabins has been created as a place where we can discuss books. And I'm also aware that we need to amp up our game. We need to start posting more videos. We need to start doing more streams. We need to bring in a variety of content on the channel. And there are people who are working for it. Now, for the guest episodes, they will be different from the main channel. But um, I'm hoping that most of the people that come on the channel will be people who write books, are authors, people who we can get into deep conversations with about reading, writing, um, and whatnot. Perhaps it's not just authors, it's about people who are just in the field, editors, publishers, uh, in fact, people who are responsible for binding your books, uh, designing book covers, why not? And that is the aim of this channel. So at the moment, we have a couple of episodes that are lined up. For example, we are going to do an episode with uh, Chitra Banerjee sometime. It was scheduled for this month, but um, it has been postponed to now, but it's going to happen soon. And um, there are more authors who will be coming up on the channel. And I am particularly excited for this. Uh, there is a good possibility, a couple, I, I don't want to give out the names until it happens, but uh, there are certain author-based episodes that will happen on the channel. And it's just the hope is that it just becomes a sanctuary for everything that's related to books and reading and the world of reading. So that's, that's mostly it. Anyways, I want to move on from this book, which is M and the Big Home. I want to... So that's nice. Everyone who's been reading M and the Big Home, this is the last question. What are your favorite parts until now in the book? And then I'll move on to the other books that I want to talk about. You know what? Before the stream, I listed down all the things that I want to... I'm going to hide this particular, but like, it's very smart. Uh, but these are the things that I want to talk about today. So I have a list of agenda already planned. What are you reading? I'm, I've decided I'm going to read only one book at a time. I, I just had this realization a couple of uh, days ago that Webber told me, like, Webber used to read a lot of books at the same time. But ever since I've started doing that, I realized I'm not very, very focused. So I'm just going to go back to reading one book at a time. But right now I'm reading M in the Big Home. And I'm also trying to read a couple more that I'll be talking about, actually. I know a person who designs book covers and he's saying, hey, Aviral, why don't you put me in touch with him or her? And okay, it's a him. And perhaps you can look forward to a stream or an episode in the future. It'll be amazing. Um, you can note down my email ID also. It's vani at the And you can ping me the information there. And just let me know the kind of guests you would also like to see on the channel and the kind of content you'd like to see. We're working on checklists. We're working on um, a new series, which is very interesting. It'll be, um, it'll, it'll probably involve, involve our members of the book club. And it will also involve a lot of other people. So it's going to be a very interesting series. Hey, thank you, Tintin, the reporter. <laughs> uh, expanded universe. Nice. You know what, guys? If you really have some recommendations, do write to me. Consider writing to me on the email, uh, sending me an email, because sometimes it just gets hard to go back to the comments. I would obviously do that, but sometimes it's just like you skip certain comments. I've um, been reading very heavy and emotionally damaging books. Um, I've been doing the same. Life. Anyways, I'm going to move on to the next book, which reminds me of emotionally damaging books. And I spoke about this a couple of um, months ago because I loved the cover and I bought it immediately. I also bought another book today. And I've, th that's the first book I've bought from Book Chore online. And I'm hoping I receive it. How many of you guys buy books from bookchore.com? I'll wait for the answers before I move on. Okay. Uh, guys, do like the stream, by the way. And um, 
emu and the big bird wow um okay i i haven't read the lucky man by michael j fox uh tintin i have not is it good is it worth reading so uh i buy from books sure it's really good for pre owned books i just uh, i tried it initially but what i realized was that i it's just like sometimes you're used to going through a certain type of books category of books i just find navigating through book sure very difficult um having said that i was looking for a book today and on amazon it was for like 800 rupees or something and on book sure including shipping i got it for 300 rupees so i was like hey nice uh jerry why do you prefer amazon ooh wow acha then i haven't done any degree in literature a lot of people have asked me that so it's just i i represent passion for reading uh, but anyways this is a book that i want to talk about this is a crime book and it's by heather christian and i i had recommended it a few months ago but i want to talk about it again because i was going through this book again and there were a couple of quotes that i picked up and as the name suggests the crying book is a book that talks about crying the author has listed down all the places one by one where she is once cried and it's kind of an interesting take because um because she's just listed them down randomly so um yeah so one of these was the human lacrimal system develops in fetuses weeks before birth but an in infant's first cries are dry eyed shouts immobile on the table i hear the baby wail as the surgeon lifts her from my cut belly then he tucks my uterus back in it's just like moments when she hears crying which is very graphic but uh, nonetheless i would recommend it to anybody who is exploring this particular emotion it's called the crying book mohit um mohit uh got all the three for six okay this is another question i have um uh, there are certain sales that my friends talk about in flipkart where they get books for like 29 rupees 39 rupees 13 rupees for 1 rupee as well and i'm like and they are not like random books which nobody wants to read they're like proper really amazing beautiful books that i would sell that i would um that i would really want to read right and i just don't know when that sale happens <laughs> cuz amazon has great selection of books which is true but you know some of the books that i really want to buy and some of the books that i end up looking for they're either sold out on amazon or they do not retail on amazon or even if they do retail on amazon uh, they're not like the ones that will reach to you that are shipped by some trusted partners vendors the vendors are very um gray the vendors are very um I mean i i wouldn't really ordinarily purchase from them uh it is an autobiography by michael j fox which he wrote after he was diagnosed with parkinson's disease which forced him to clean up his act wow oh that's that's interesting tintin uh yeah it's like the second week of every month or 11th of every month wow that that's nice i buy kindle books from amazon for me it's easy yeah it is easy you know i i usually do this where i get ebooks on kindle because um i really want to be a responsible um person now and purchase books that really are uh, like worthy there are really um, books that i really want to read and so i've been buying ebooks or i've been reading ebooks before i purchase a book um so that's that's something that's really helped me i came across works by ocean wong oh mayuk you're late to the party but we picked up um, ocean wong's and i've been i've been rereading this again uh, on earth we are briefly gorgeous and we picked it up last year in um november in the month of november yes we picked up this book in november for a book a month and it's one of the most beautiful books i've read yeah i i wouldn't give it a 5 on 5 because i thought out of the three parts two were very very interesting i, I but it's big. the parts that are interesting are mind blowing okay um 
Yes, Mohit has said what I wanted to tell everyone. Uh, this month's ABAM is free for Kindle or like just the ebook. If you have Kindle, like the app also, it'll be free of cost for you if you have Amazon Prime. Um, even I read it last week when I was down with COVID. It was a devastating. Oh, which book did you read, Sri Vidya? I'm sorry, I did not get it. And um, okay, this is another book that I've been um, I've been reading in bits. So um, I gifted it to my sibling on his birthday, and I've been reading this because he recently gave it back to me. I don't know why he left it in my face, and I've been reading everything that he has underlined. And um, something that I really liked is this quote, which says, "We are instinctively blind to what is not relative." We are not cameras, we select. We do this always when we are not painting. When you are sitting in conversation with a young girl and you are thinking the while how beautiful she is, suddenly stop and ask yourself what has been her background. Surely it was not all those incongruous things that are now leaping into your consciousness from behind her. And surely too, while you were sitting there and thinking her so beautiful, you had created unconsciously out of chaos, a wonderfully fitting setting, which was at the back of her and around her and fully sufficient to her. And it's just such a beautiful book. It's called The Art Spirit and just shows you how everyone is an artist. If you're reading how the reader is an artist, it's just kind of really nice to read because sometimes we forget how uh, creative we are because everyone was born creative. At least this is what my teachers told me and I believe them because it's easier to live thinking of yourself as a creative person. But anyways, um, this book talks about how art is for everyone. Um, everyone, everyone who's capable of falling in love, everyone who's capable of being passionate about things is capable of understanding art. And it says the art spirit, and it just makes you realize all the things that you do in your everyday life, which are a proof, are a living proof that you are a creative individual. It makes you realize how lovely you are, um, how beautiful your mind is. And I, I just, um, I mean, it's technically for painters, but I think it covers everyone. Uh, and yeah, that's it. And it just represents, um, that's, that's mostly it. And of course, as I read it, I've been very proud of gifting this book to my sibling, but, um, this, this is nice. I mean, it's a, it's a book I would recommend everyone to gift everyone else. Um, so yeah, this is the, another book that I wanted to recommend. Wait, are we allowed to give back gifts? Uh, my, my, it's my sibling and we share all the books and I steal most of the books I give him, uh, gift him. So it's, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I finished Amrita Pritam's Pinjar last night. It's such a, wow. You know what? We had a book meet in Chandigarh a few months ago and somebody actually uh, recommended this book there. Wonderful. Which reminds me, we also talk about Mike Devoti with Mika, Mika's who I'm also. Anyways, <laughs> are you into reading Amar Chitrapata? I went to Bangalore recently and at Blossoms bookstore, they had like this proper section of Amar Chitra because I'm not sure if it was Blossoms, but I think it was Blossoms. Absolutely amazing. I've, I loved reading Amar Chitra when I was growing up. Um, you've not updated the ABAM playlist after June. We'll, we'll do that. We'll get back to it, Jerry. We'll get back to it. And now coming to the two books that I really want to talk about. So I visited Shimla recently and uh, there I purchased two books on the recommendation of a friend. Both of them are, are by this person called Raja Basin. Basin, I'm not sure, um, but it's, it's spelled R-A-A-J-A-B-H-A-S-I-N. Um, now, uh, I have been to Shimla quite a few times because Himachali, so on, college was near that place and everything. But... What I absolutely loved this time about Shimla was that I visited as a tourist. Um, and I got these two books. One is Shimla, the 
Simla, the summer capital of British India, and the other one is Shimla on foot, 10 walks. Now, this one is very interesting because it will help you explore Shimla in 10 walks. And if you need some more theory, this is for you. Shimla, the Simla, the summer capital of British India. Now, it's, I mean, the reason why I, don't, I want to talk to you about these books is not because I want to recommend them to you. Uh, I obviously recommend them to you if you're visiting Shimla. <laughs> and if you want to learn about Shimla, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I never really considered reading a book about a place. And because this is a place I really frequent. But then when I picked it up, I realized, oh my God, this place is also an emotion. <laughs> I've been taking Shimla for granted. That is, it's, it's a very stupid and plain case of, um, like you don't take the things that are in your background that seriously. Um, but yeah, that's... Pinjar is about this woman who was forcefully married against her will. Oh yes, um, yeah. Reading Trees by a Percival Everett. Hi, Nabad Jyoti. How are you? The bhindi looks quite... Oh, 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 okay. Thanks. Mm, what book my sibling gave me back? Uh, the Art Spirit. It's, it's actually a lovely book. And uh, I would recommend it to everyone. If you want me to read more quotes, let me know. I'll, I'll ping them here. Are they like works of fiction? No, there's like a proper historical account of things that were... Like it talks about how Shimla was annexed back from the Nepal kingdom and so on and so forth. And uh, I realized there is so much that I do not know about Himachal as well. Uh, that's one of the things that's there. Uh, Maximum City, it's about Bombay. Great. So I, if you have any books, recommendations, from the places that you are. So for example, Varun recommend Maximum City. Do recommend me stuff. What is my current favorite book aesthetic? I'm not sure <laughs> what I'm supposed to answer there. Oh, that's, that's lovely, Sri Vidya. But you just passed your 10th grade exams, right? Have you, I read The White Teeth? No, I haven't. And I'm dying to read it. I, I have been... Um... I'm trying. So this is very. Um, so my sibling gifted me uh, this thing on Rakhi, and I've been reading um, the screenplay of Before Sunrise at the, right now, and it's one of the. I mean, certain dialogues are obviously missed out in the movies, but it's such a nice thing to read. It's very quotable, also. Have I read? Okay, and uh, guys. Um, I was live on car. It, it's going well. Can you be my sibling? Oh, of course, definitely, Mr. Pink. But like, you can't be my sibling, but you can be my brother, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. Raki just passed by, so I don't mind. I'm about to finish the little... Oh, you've been reading The Little Prince. That's, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know any sports drama novel, but I do have a leadership book that's come out of sports. Oh, should I mean, I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought you're in 10th grade. Maybe it's because of a display book, but it's nice. Third year is good in college. It's kind of, kind of the most important, um, kind of the most important years of college life, right? Let's not, um, Mohit, I've been reading a lot of books. I haven't finished any until now in the month of August. Uh, I'm fine. Read the long list of a book. Of, oh, that's where I've heard of it. Yes. Do you guys want to do a buddy reading session of any books in particular? Um, yeah. That's the best life. life. <laughs> okay. Have I read any? No, I haven't actually. Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is one person I haven't uh, really explored, even though I've read a couple of letters by him, though. And he wrote the foreword for the book. What was the book we picked up recently for a book a month? How do you live? And I wasn't particularly, I don't know. It's kind of set my expectations a little too high. Have I completed BCS? Bishop Cotton School? Behind this? Better Call Saul. No, I haven't. 
I haven't even started yet yet. Nobody invites me for the streams anymore. That's why. <laughs> so I don't watch anything. I just say I'll watch it for sure, but I don't. But I'll be there on. I mean, yeah. Have I read the short story collection? Uh, what we do? Oh, um, no. But I know about the book. It's about the focuses on the dark. But you know what? It's been on my wish list for a long time, and I've been waiting for somebody to gift it to me because I don't want to buy it on my own. But speaking of love, I ordered a book on love today. Um. Okay, my phone is it's just like, everything is all over the place today. Um, uh, yeah, let me just quickly search for it. Um, so I actually so one of my favorite accounts on Instagram is Trivarna Hariharan's account, and she posted this particular collection of quotes from a book called. which i ordered today that is a book that i was telling you about so um where are you so this is the thing about the um so i love her account right hari na trivarna hari haran she is a poet she is a pianist and she does she basically her account is like a gold mine for book recommendations she doesn't post about books but she posts snippets from them so she today she posted excerpts from this book called the history of love for, by nicole cross and i was like hey th these are absolutely amazing i need to buy the book when i went on amazon though um it wasn't available um, it was shipping out after like 7 to 10 days and it would have reached me in september and because i am from gen z i am used to instant gratification and i wanted something better and then i just searched uh, how to love no the history of love and i found it on bookstore actually for 300 rupees including shipping and that's where i ordered it from so yeah that's that's one book that i wanted to recommend but i want to recommend it once i have it in my hand and i've read a couple of things um The new Sandman series is great. I've I've actually been considering because I saw the prices of Sandman and I don't know if I can afford that immediately in the future if I should invest in it. But um, I I really want to read it. Yes, uh, watch it because I saw it on Netflix. Have you read Dark Death? It's the book. Um, it's the book Penny is recommended, right? I I I couldn't find it anywhere. I found it on Amazon. I don't know why I didn't bother to buy it, but Dark Death and Tulip. I also saw it at Blossoms, I think, and I read it there. And it's a beautiful book, but I couldn't read it because they, it gets very suffocating in Blossoms. I think, I mean, or it was just me tired and exhausted. But I really want to purchase a copy for myself. I haven't done it yet, but yeah. Um, do you have any off-topic? What which Brooklyn Nine Nine character should get their own spin-off? Hi, Tindin. I I really okay. That that's a nice question. Or is it? I really like Amy. And I oh wait no, I know the answer, but I'm not. I can't remember the name of the character. Uh, Brooklyn Nine. Who's the receptionist at Brooklyn Nine Nine? Who has like her? Oh, she has her own personality. Like everyone wants to be like her. I want to be like her, but I'm not. Unfortunately, so cool. But I I would want a spin off series just by her. Um, just for the context, dude. Every time on Insta Q and A's, hey Omkar, no, I'm not thirty seven. It's just like a running joke because everyone just asks me for for my age, and I do not get why. I've I've always been curious, and I've asked why about boys. Like, hey, how many people ask you for your age in Insta Q and A? Nobody asks him his age. Why do people ask for my age? And um, then. Uh, I real and somebody, one of the people who follow me on Instagram, sent me a screenshot, and it is kind of true. Every time you Google my name, Vani Mahesh, by the time you type type in M A H, the thing that Google recommends is age, and then Instagram. So it's like Vani Maha, Vani Mahesh, Vani Mahesh age, Vani Mahesh Instagram, and it's <laughs> it's I'm just like curious. It's it's nice to know how people, but I'm for every set all the seventy eight people that are watching or listening, I'm not really thirty seven. I am at least ten years younger, or twelve. My maths is bad, but I'm Gen Z, so that's that's super nice. Uh, borderline Gen Z. 
that's why there is existential problem uh and where was i um, why do boomers love credit so much my neighbor acts like he's better than everybody but he's secretly up to self i i did not understand it tyrone tyrone why do boomers love credit so much my neighbor acts like he's better than everybody but he's secretly up to his eyeballs in loans it's so cringe my brain is not working uh shri vidya i finished oh nice you had covid recently are you feeling better like what uh, like is, was it how i hope it wasn't bad uh pu is here yes my voice just went high pu is an esteemed member of the pune mafia that we have on chalchatra talks um so there are quite a few godfathers from that we have drop tier members of our family from pune or pune i don't know and we like to call them the pune mafia and she is an esteemed and a proud member of the group stephen my most surprising read with shimla in in works gina lenetti yes i love gina so much But I think I'm a mixture of Amy and uh, Rosa. But I think I'm just as I'm getting older, I'm just turning into Amy. About buddy reading, which books would you consider picking up? I really want to read a little life with somebody because I think I'll just end up crying my eyes out, and in my mental health will suffer a lot if I read it alone. So I really want someone else to join me in this suffering, and we'll have mutual suffering of sorts. uh anurag dikshit is also hey it's so nice to see so many godfathers hey guys nice um reading the artist's way quite different and unique talking talks about creating a healthy creative process wow is it, i i just this is a very interesting book the artist's way um is it by julia julia cameron please let us know um yeah And Rob, please let me know if it's by Julia Cameron, because then I also buy it because it's very interesting. Um, who bought? I bought a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Ultimate. From where? <laughs> please give us your secrets, Tintin. Uh, Sandba or Sandbook audiobook? Nice. I I I just got Audible key subscription. I I got Audible subscription free for three months today on Google Pay. So I'm really looking forward to enjoying it. and discovering more audio books cuz i don't know it was just so yeah of course uh, you know what mr ping i'm just going to make you um um uh i'll just make you the moderator just made you one mr ping um tint and gina lanetti chelsea peretti is oh yeah nice i'm not 32 if you mean i'm there when i look old Or like that's why I say thirty seven because people are like, but he looks so young, and I'm like, <laughs> less embarrassing that way. Imagine telling people you're like over twenty five, and they're like, but you look like forty three. <laughs> no, thank you, don't want that. Hence, I'm thirty seven. I think age is a default suggestion when you Google a name, but he's asking age is kind of weird. Oh shit, you've pulled down my horse. You've pulled me down from my my horse. That wasn't the right way to say it, but. Did you get lost your taste and everything? Oh my God! It was um, wow. Is it back now? Are you feeling better? My thoughts on chess. There is a short. There's a short video on Charles Chitra talks which has my thoughts on chess. <laughs> wow. Um, I once purchased a teen in. in the, oh wow. Um. Rosa is the boss lady, badass cop. I can be a mutual sufferer. That's great, Mister Pink. Also, I'm really about wanting to participate in ABAM discussion. I finished this month ka eight. You did you email me about M and the Big Home? And when you did you do that? Because I've been waiting for the emails, but I don't think I've received any. But I've also been. Um, yeah. Am I planning to read Tomb of Sand? Yes, I am. But we're not going to pick it up for a book a month this year, as of now. Um, I really want to do some light reading as well this year, like books, like um, books that'll end up like sooner, <laughs> and books that won't really give you a lot of um, suffering. But yeah, 
Anurag has done well. I've done all of my ABA in this year on Audible. And how easy was it? <laughs> because I would love to know that. I was just realized I want to read more books and I'm considering audio books as a refuge. Um, look, people like me who've made male look way older than I am. Uh, Pew, let's buddy read a little life. I'm scared all of a sudden. <laughs> But well, let's do that, Pew. Let's ruin our lives together and our emotional well-being. Jane Austen cheat sheet was the best. Hey, thank you, Mohit. Do you want to see more of these? Uh, because Jane Austen is one author I really followed when I was growing up. So I have a cheat sheet for her. Uh, I emailed just a while back. Oh, that's that's great. And you're completely all right. So that's wonderful, Sri Vidya. Um, can you make a video showcasing your book collection? I believe uh, if you see somebody's bookshelf, you'll know the kind of person they are. And I'm too afraid to peel down all my layers right now. But we can definitely try doing that. Um, guys, if you have any suggestions for cheat sheets, you can also send the emails. Mm, no one belongs here more than you. Yes, Roxaurus. Actually, I was bringing that book for, the, um, for this stream tonight, but I did not. What else is happening, guys? We've been away for a long time. And obviously, next, I'm planning to do a stream super soon with Disha as well. And I think by next month, what? I don't know why I'm going here and here for the calendar. But um, it's 18th, right? I think next week we'll be doing a stream with Disha. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking about a lot of things there. Okay. I was never a part of the ABM till now due to tight work schedule. I've tried to follow from next month and year again. Mr. Pink, where do you live? Actually, just curious to know because you've never revealed your identity. But if you were to do a meetup in your town or city, will you be there? When are, are we coming to? I am not. I, I think Weber is going to do a meetup next week or maybe sometime this month, actually, in Bombay. I'm not going to be a part of it, unfortunately. But uh, this is really excited to see you all in Bombay at least this year I hope I was never a part of ABM till now did you? okay I read that comment but yes Stephen King cheat sheet can be next I, unfortunately, I really want to cover a lot of authors but unfortunately I haven't followed everyone so I, for example I haven't followed Stephen King heavily so I can't really tell anything about him but I've been looking actively for people who have read certain things like Stephen King etc etc so, Tintin the reporter. <laughs> I love so this part and like everything that's visible here is well organized. If I would pan my camera over there, it's a little messy. <laughs> um. Oh no, Jerry, we will bring back poetry. Um, I will do some English poetry, but I'm trying to find a specialist in poetry. And we also have Pathak for poetry in Hindi and Urdu. So he's going to come back soon. He's just um, a little caught up in a certain things in his personal life, but he'll be back again on the channel and he'll be talking about poetry in general. So really looking forward to that. Okay. And uh, if you have any suggestions or any questions, is there anything that I'm missing out on? Or so cook, we, we're going to work on cooking videos as well, cooking vlogs. We're going to also work on newsletters. Oh, no, I didn't discuss the newsletter. So I didn't, I missed this week's newsletter and I apologize for that. But I try to be very regular with it. And I just wanted your feedback because nobody writes back to me. It is sad. <laughs> and, and there are, the analytics say that it, the newsletters do really well. But nobody writes back. Please write back to me when you see my newsletters. Um, but I'm kind of uh, glad with some personal feedback. Everyone has been telling me the books that I talk about in the newsletters are helping some of you. So that's good to know. But in case if you have any suggestions, recommendations, do share it with me so that we can incorporate in the newsletter as well. I really like working on the newsletters on my own. So I take out at least 30 to 45 minutes or even an hour or two at times every Sunday morning or Saturday evening to write the newsletter and then send it out to you guys. So I really put in the efforts and it would just be amazing if you guys could give your feedback, uh, if it's boring or not, um, that would be more than welcome. Can Hindol do cooking videos? Hindol, 
Hindol. Yes. Hindol, of course. Uh, Hindol can also do cooking videos. Okay. You know what? I, I really want to do a cook show where I get like multiple guests and like Hindol can be there. Bebo is there. Uh, Disha is there. And I really want to explore it in everyone's kitchen because my kitchen is not that aesthetic in looks. So, I mean, let's see how it goes. Nobody writes back to newsletters. True. But like it's aesthetic, so we can't really send out emails like we used to. Mm. But yeah, thanks, Anurag, that I really appreciate that. Uh, how to subscribe for the newsletter? The link will be in the description. And if any of the mods are watching, uh, could you guys please uh, ping it in the, I, I don't know, uh, comment it down the link over here as well. And uh, Tintin the reporter, which means you're also an artist, like you said earlier. Okay. Uh, Oh, please do videos about how would so I've been asking this question to almost every author I've interviewed recently, by the way. Um, how do they make notes when they're writing books or how, what's the general process of making notes? And I think it's just very interesting. And let me know if you'd like a video on the same. I'd love to do that. Hendol plus Disha plus Vani is equal to best dream. You know, it just is, it becomes, uh, it's a lot of chaos, basically. Um, Well, I don't think there is contact number for newsletters. I just think there is, um, you just need your email ID. I'm, I'm, I'm positive actually. I'm just going to look for it actually right now. But um, that's mostly it. Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't think you need to sign up there. Okay, there's the link where you can sign up for the newsletter. Please include web also, of course, definitely. Pune Mafia unanimously loved the book because I'm missing it. Can we read it? You know what? We're working on that. We are, we are. <laughs> we're going to work on it and we're going to like um, bring it back super soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, hopefully it'll be sooner. Uh, could you please suggest some books on one-sided love and how to deal with it? Okay. Um, there are there are two books where I rem I don't read a lot about romance, but there are two particular books that I remember because they turned out to be like my they turned out to be my favorite books when it comes to romance, and I've recommended both of them. And surprisingly, both of them are one-sided. One is called um, one is by Where Angels Fear to Tread by E. M. Foster. And the other one is, so love is one of the sub themes. It's not the major theme, but you'll still like it, even if it's there for um, only like two fifths of the novel, but you will enjoy it. And then the other one is flipped. I can't remember or pronounce the name of the author for the life of me, um, but it's actually a beautiful book. You won't go in details. So, Kushal, there's no Pune Mafia Mafia group. You have to earn the title, uh, which, uh, I mean, I, I can't really talk about it, but like PU and uh, you'll have to ask the Pune Mafia for that. We just call them Pune Mafia because they always form the majority of decisions because, obviously. Um, <laughs> and I don't know, I mean, <laughs> but this is nice. So anyways, I think we've discussed enough. I shouldn't have said that, but I really, uh, one last time, like how many of you are reading M and the Big Home? And it's won surprisingly a lot of uh, awards as well. Um, how do you take notes while reading a book on train and metro? Like do you get, I carry a pencil and then I just take notes. And uh, then when I get off the train, I erase everything and I write them again in beautiful handwriting. Or I just 
carry a separate page, page where I can write notes and then I can just tear them out separately later. Uh, oh, they are a part of our WhatsApp groups, definitely. Pune Mafia is a part of our WhatsApp groups, but we call them the Pune Mafia um, because they form the majority of that group. But uh, for those of you who haven't read M and the Whom, do consider it read. Consider reading it. It's one of the most beautiful books that I've read, especially from India. And I'm just a little happy, a little proud, and a little emotional. I'm a little happy and a little proud and a little emotional because this is a book that has come out of India. And we don't really have, I don't think we've achieved that. Uh, level of writing in a lot of areas it was just nice to know that this is a book that was that is coming out of india and that too like has been translated from marathi it's kind of a, a proof of how you how we should have more of translated literature because had it not been for i'm trying to see who translated this I'm not sure but anyways, this is a wonderful book. Hey, Risha, it's an amazing, um, I have, I would love it. I would love it as long, I mean, I really want a cat. I do. Planning to overcome reading slump by area. That's nice. Uh, Vishwesh is already done with it. Vishwesh, did you listen to an audiobook uh, for M and the Big Home? Would love to know. Um, Latitudes of Longing, yes, absolutely amazing. Do I own Kindle? Yes, I do. Um, but it was absolutely amazing discussing things with you guys. And I really wish a lot of a lot more of you would read M and the Big Home. I think the original language is Marathi, but I'm not sure. Um, I think so. Now that I can't find the translator, I'm a little conscious if it's even translated and it's just, but uh, we all know that Varun Thakur owns a Kindle. What? <laughs> By the way, really like your newsletter. It's nice to see an email from someone who shares a hobby of book reading about from the daily junk of tomorrow. Yay! And we also like to read the extra things, extra pieces of information I give you about gardening sometimes or sometimes about I don't know. Random bits of information. Wow, uh, there's an audiobook. Oh God, that's great. I'll get back to it then. But this was amazing, guys. Thank you so much for joining. And next week, we'll ideally have Tisha. And I would love to, and I'm really looking forward to M and the Big Home, Home's stream. And I think we'll have to be very careful with how we use our words and choose them wisely eventually during the stream because it's a sensitive topic it covers a very sensitive topic and it does so beautifully that so much so that i think you can use it as a case study but having said that i'll take your leave and if in case you guys want to join the stream if you've read the book and you want to join the stream do write to me on mani at the and i'll be happy to host everyone and i'll see you guys again Super soon. And tomorrow we're doing the Friday stream on Chalchitra Talks. So I'll see you there with their puff. And uh, take care. Hey, somebody loves the Kushal loves the song selection on newsletters. That's absolutely amazing. I live single in a 2 BHK. Hey. I have converted my balcony into a small garden which needs a lot of um, cleaning up, but okay. Somebody finished reading Catcher in the Rye. Did you like it, Sum Sumanna? Suman, Suman. Did you like it, Suman? Oh, you're not able to articulate. This is so nice. I, I love Catcher in the Rye. Best time to write mail. You can write mail whenever you want to, half face. But it's, it's absolutely amazing, guys. Why do you send the best comments at the end? <laughs> um, but... Uh, this is an absolutely amazing stream, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. And next week, I'll be back with Disha. And maybe we'll take recommendations and love from her. Because if you haven't seen Disha Discoveries by Disha, you should watch it. Some of the most 
beautiful conversations about love and some of the best people have joined this the episodes and more episodes are coming in and do watch them on chalchitra talks and you will not regret it and also there are quite a few things that we are doing on chalchitra talks and kitabi cabins which are comparatively new and uh, it's just really nice to see chalchitra grow that way so do keep on updating yourself with everything that we are doing and there are quite a few episodes that are going to be recorded super soon and um, we are at 104 likes had we been at 150 i would have revealed it but i did not get the target super soon um that's that's nice and we're also going to be back with records from the hill now uh in a couple of months so i'm very excited about that anyways um i am going to go now and i'll see you guys super soon disha will be with us sometime next week and uh, tomorrow i'll catch you guys on chalchitra talks for vm square stream very excited about it and uh, do subscribe to the newsletter of course and do pick up mm the big home i'm pretty certain you're not going to regret it get it on audible get it on ebooks uh, get it on kindle it's free of cost and i'm pretty certain you're not going to hate me <laughs> for making you read it but I'll be in just take care guys bye trying to end it but bye bye see ya almost going guys now and um Yeah, just seeing how long it will take. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Ta ta.